Hello everyone, George here, and we are working on the Toe Jam Arrow concept piece. Now this is actually a project that I said I was going to work on anyway, but it turns out there was this little thing at work that happened and someone talked to someone else and the idea was, why don't we try to do this in VR? However, you know what? Uh, I've got a few hours free tonight. Uh, I'm all by myself and I'm, I'm tired of studying for my PhD qualifier. So I kind of wanted to just sit down and see how much of this I could bang out by myself uh, without any involvement from anyone else, just me working on my own. So this is my roadmap on what I'm going to do for this concept. Uh, we've got a floating world, we've got presents, a couple different ones, we've got some food, some health, some landscapes, some NPCs, an elevator, and a ship piece. And for this we of course are going to need a reference material to work forward, so why don't we go ahead and grab some of that. So let's go ahead and do Toe Jam and Earl. And let's see what we got here. So uh, images, and there we go. We're going to be going with the classic game, this one right here, but we're going to spice it up a little bit. So one of the, uh, we're going to need 3D models to work with. Uh, two of those that are that I'm thinking right now are we're going to need the ship piece itself, and then we're going to need um, the pieces of the floating world and the presence themselves. So why don't we go ahead and just really quick create these 3D models and get them working for us. So uh, the ship piece, let's go ahead and file, let's see, uh, new, re let's see, project window, new, browse, let's do reproduce it. Now I have a toe jam in Earl, but I'm gonna actually take both of those. Can I, I cannot delete in this, can I? So let's just do toe jam and Earl VR. Go in here, create a new folder. Toe Jam and let's see, uh, I'm just going to call it Maya. I'm going to select that folder and just call this Toe Jam and Earl. Hit accept. Now we've got that set up. Why don't we go to window? And what we need to do is our preferences. And we want to set our units to meters. There we go. Great. And now that we have that set up, let's go to display grid and mess with this a little bit. So this goes 12 units out. We got a subdivision every two. So why don't we increase that to maybe every four, just so I know what I'm working with. So each one of these is now a meter, right? Let's just make sure each one of those is a meter in size, right? So one grid line every one, go that, then four, one, two, three, four. Yes, okay. So it looks like we're good to go. So the first thing we need is the present, or at least that's the first thing I'm gonna create. So we have this little kind of area right here with a pedestal. So let's go ahead and create that pedestal really fast. Uh, let's hit X, move this on up. And uh, let's see, one meter in height. So let's actually come at this from the, let's uh, just move that. We don't need that for the moment. Let's come at this from the side, frame on up, and let's go ahead and shrink this down a bit. And D, V to the bottom, move this to the about right there. So that's a meter tall, so that's about three feet if we move this up to here. So that's probably good enough. So why don't we go ahead and actually just move that to maybe right there. Go to face mode, extrude, go back over here and do, oops, let's do maybe something like this. Hit the G key, move this down a little bit, hit the G key, scale that up, hit the G key and move that down. So something along those lines right there. That's fine. Now we do have the grooves. So before we do any of that stuff, let's actually take this object, multi-cut, put it in the center. Um, let's just nuke the top, and I'm going to duplicate the top piece right here. So let's go over here, and let's take this object, right-click, let's go to Mirror, and we'll do um, the bounding box of the object. We're going to do this in the Y direction. We're going to do the positive Y, hit Apply, and there we go. Just make sure really quick that that's actually merged together. Great. Now that we have that going on, I'm going to delete this edge right here. And I'm going to do this, maybe. So we're going to take each of these and extrude them in on themselves. No, actually, we want to keep faces together off. I want to pull these in a little bit. And then, of course, push these down. And then push them in and then maybe scale them a little bit like that. Something like that. Now that's a lot of polys, I know, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter for the moment. If we want to, we could of course bake this later on. It doesn't really matter at the moment. So this can be our high poly model. We'll make a low poly one vert later. I am going to go ahead and segment this out a little bit. There we go. 
like that. And so there's our column, which our piece of ship is going to be on. And I don't know what piece of ship we're going to have yet. Let's go ahead and work on the back object. So that's going to be something like this. And we might as well keep this to some sort of a size. So it's going to be like that and move this up to maybe here. Now I kind of want it to look a little bit more interesting. So we're going to, of course, uh, you know, we'll, should we rotate it now or rotate it later? We'll rotate it later. Uh, you know what? No, we won't. We'll just rotate it now. I want it to be kind of like this. And I also want the sides to not necessarily be square. So maybe something like this. Let's do it more like that. Something like that, maybe. And maybe this side in as well. Something like that. Okay, and then we need the poles as well. Now, the interesting thing is you're going to be seeing this from... So I almost feel like... Since this is VR now, we could see this from just about any angle. I'm wondering if we should do something like this and put that like in the center sp spot, like right there. The piece will be here. This will be up here. We'll put the poles to the sides of it. So let's go ahead and just grab something like this. Pull that up to there. And we're going to definitely shrink this down. This is more like a post, if anything. Let's go ahead and take this object, WD, move this off to the front, move this to here. We'll grab this piece, move that up to like there. Duplicate this piece. Now, before we, let's see, let's move this over to like WDV, maybe like there. Grab these, move this one up a little bit higher, something like that maybe. And then let's take this, shrink that maybe down a little bit. Although we could if we wanted to grab this piece and maybe pop that up. Just make it a little bit more interesting looking in a different dimension. Okay, now wait, did I pop the front piece up? Yes, I did. So let's undo that. I'd wanna do maybe the back piece because I wanna keep the front flat. Now that's a little a little much, I think. So let's, let's just do that. Okay. And now we need light bulbs, so why don't we just go ahead and that's going to be a sphere. And X that, something like that. Frame on up, let's go over here and reduce the number. Maybe something like 12. Rotate this thing. Now 12 is even too much. Let's go down to maybe like 10. That's better. Uh, faceted as heck, so let's go ahead and fix that. So mesh display, soft edge. And I don't have this rotated on a weird angle, so let's do negative 90. And all I'm going to do is grab this part here, extrude that in world space, something like that, and flatten this down. And that's fine. We can get rid of that inner ring. We don't, whoops, we can get rid of that. We don't need it. And yeah, now let's just stick these all over the place. Zoom on up, let's put WD snap over there, V, move this over here. Shrink it down a bit to something like that. And yeah, stick that somewhere in there. Now let's do a, a Control Shift D and then somewhere like that, and a Shift D. Is it shifty? I can't remember. I think it's just shifty. Shifty, shifty, something like that. And we're going to take all of these, I think, together now and just put them like that. Let's do the whole thing again. So let's take this little guy here, move him up here. Shifty. And... move them around. Something like that's fine. And now we just need the ones going down the side. So shift D. And I'm just going to and let's do the same thing over here. So we're just winging it. Like I said, this is a concept piece. 
So there we go. So now we've got our sign with our light bulbs. Uh, arrows are going to be a texture. Now we need the actual ship piece. So why don't we go ahead and put that in place? Um, so what do we want to do? What kind of ship piece do we want? So let's let's do Toe Jam and Earl ship pieces. And okay, that's something. So these, I, I want to put the actual ship piece there so you know what it is before you get to it. So I think I want the megawatt speaker as the ship piece. That's kind of an iconic thing. So let's make a megawatt speaker. So let's come over here. We'll do something like that maybe. And it looks like the top is kind of pulled in. We might as well, we might want to do something like this. And we got the soft, this part and this part here. So yeah, something like that. It looks like it, it rounds out in the center. So I'm going to grab this and kind of push this out a little bit like that, I think. And the back definitely pulls out. So we're going to probably grab all the verts back here, pull them out. All the verts back here, pull them out as well. And then we need the inside of this thing. So we're going to grab this one and this one, do an extrusion. And let's see here. Now I'm trying to figure out maybe like that. Hit the G key, push that in a little bit. Let's go back to one really fast. So I kind of want it to be less rounded. So let's come back here really fast and so that's that piece there we go that's more what I'm after and the bottom piece should really be coming in a little bit more so let's grow selection and just kind of pull that inwards a little bit and then grab all of this stuff and then maybe, let's see, I'm not loving it yet, um, but it's not bad. I'm trying to figure out exactly what the heck is going on with the geometry for this thing. So let's do a cut here and a cut here, and then a cut here and here. And this is where we've got the blades coming out. So we're just going to pull these out. And you know what, we're going to do this perpendicular to the world. Or I should say, with the world space involved. So let's go ahead now and do that, and do that. And I'm guessing these should look a little bit better. So maybe this side comes out a little bit more, and this side goes in a little bit more. And I almost feel like this should wrap around the entirety of this object and go around the back, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I do feel like that's probably going to look better. So what if we go in here now, we go to one mode, and I go in here and I nuke this stuff here. And then we're going to pull it out. So if I do, actually, you know what, let's undo that. We get rid of this and this. I'll do an extrusion out a little bit here. Let's, let's go ahead and grab both of these, actually. So the extrusion is kind of the same. And then we can nuke this and this, this and this, and grab you and you, you and you, do an extrusion, world space, move this out, and then we're just going to take our pieces now and DV, snap that there. Did I grab something? I grabbed something accidentally. So let's grab that, V snap that there, grab all of you, DV, move you to there as well. Then let's go ahead and start merging things. It looks like we need a cut that goes across this object right here. So let's go ahead and, you know what, let's fuse it first and then we'll deal with the cut. Apply, close, F8, um, multi-cut, and we'll just make some cuts across this object real fast. Let's do that. Do you, 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 and you somewhere down there. 
And let's take all of you now. And let us, I hate this new, is, is this a, a setting that I don't understand? How do I reset? Normally it doesn't keep the offset, which is annoying the heck out of me. So let's do this. Let's do that. Now what's going on here? It looks like, so we got this edge here, which I want to marry up with that edge. But then we have that edge, which doesn't marry up. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. Apply close. And all we need to do now is grab this one and this one and then merge to center. Close enough. And then we need to do a similar thing down here. So let's do multi-cut, multi-cut, multi-cut. On a seam, please. There we go. And something like that. And let's just grab these two really fast, you and you, and merge to center. And now we can just grab this and we'll just push this over a little bit. There we go, that's okay. And we can go ahead and make our cut from you to you. And I'm purposefully making that cut offset so I know what I'm doing. So merge, merge to center. Okay, so now we've got this piece which wraps around. So if we go to three key, now we've got this thing going on. Uh-oh, looks like we messed up this part here, huh? So something did not merge. So it's still not merging. So I'm guessing we've got a face on the inside. Yes, we do. So delete that face. That's good. Right click, merge, apply, close, and three key, and there we go. Okay, so now we got the fin going around the back. I kind of want, um, I kind of want an edge loop, maybe like there and there. That way, that kind of is a little bit sharper, which I like. So okay, so we got a fin for our hyper, now these will go way too far out. So let's let's fix that. So we're gonna grab all of these guys and we're just gonna move them in. Probably grab these and move them in as well a little bit. Now let's hit three. That's a little bit better. Now we can come along to the other side and finish everything off. So let's go back to this mode and you, you, and you can all get deleted. And you, and you can get deleted. Now this one is interesting. I guess I f didn't, bring this out all the way. So let's just do this really fast. And um, yeah, let's move you there and you there. And let's, whoops, what happened to you there? There we go. And you, sir, can go up to you and out to you and out to you. Whoops, that's better. Merge verts. Apply, close, and now all I need to do is, let's see, so this does not go, so it should be probably this and this, this and this. And then let's just, I can do an extrusion if I want to, or I can just pull out like this. And that goes into the actual uh, body right here. Okay. And then this, this guy and this guy can come out. And that's going to do first to there. That's not good. So let's just pull this out all the way to here first. And then we'll fix the rest of this nonsense. So what's going on here? So this fan blade kind of goes up for some reason. Look at that. That's not good. We're going to fix that right now. This whole thing needs to go down. Notice how it's up there too. I must have done the wrong kind of extrusion. So we're gonna fix it like that, like that. Now let's do this and this and pull this out to you and to you. And do I need to delete anything on the inside? Yes, I do. So that can go I'm pretty sure you need something going too, right? Yes, you need to go. And there's probably a faster way to do this. I'm just taking forever for no good reason. All right. Now 
And let's go ahead and see, look at that. That tells me something's wrong right there. So see that seam right there, that needs to be carried out through the whole thing. So I need to do a multi-cut and that's probably good enough. And multi-cut, that's probably good enough. And let's just grab these verts, merge to center, come down under here, merge to center. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to be close enough. G key to repeat. G to repeat. And look at that. That's kind of nasty, isn't it? Is that the same thing on the other side? No, that's interesting. So how come that side's all messed up? That's what happens when you're not paying attention, huh? Let's just kind of even that out a little bit. That's better. All right, and let's fill you up. Now you're good, fill hole. And let's hit the three key. We got our megawatts. Now we just need our the actual speakers inside of this thing. So for that, so we can probably do something like this. So we take you, you, and you, and do an extrusion. No, that's not gonna work. We're gonna do this as a separate cylinder. So let's just make a cylinder. Rotate it 90. And stick it in there. And boom. Could use a line if we wanted to, but it's just probably gonna be easier to wing it. See, do I have, I do not have geometry in the center, so we're just going to, now it is an oval, so we're gonna do that, and this, and then just rotate it into place. Okay, duplicate, ah, oh, you know what, before we duplicate that, let's delete it. Let's grab this entire edge, Actually, let's grab the vertex, chamfer it, and grab all of these. Let's, no, that's not working out for me. Let's not do it, can I do, let's do an extrusion. I wanna take this vert, can I, is this not object mode? This is world mode, let's do object mode. Pull that one in a little bit. Grab this, pull that in a little bit. And then I wanna grab this ring and pull that out of it. Okay, and then there should be another ring. So let's do a bevel. And then the inner ring here. Is there there's a back to this, which we need to get rid of. So let's let's go to our modeling tools really fast. Constraint, angle, two degrees, delete that. And what I don't want is for this piece, no, let's see, come on. Uh, let's turn this off so I can actually make a selection. And I wanna kind of undo some of the stuff that we just did to warp this. And shrink that back down. Move that up a little bit. And then we're going to grab those faces and extrude them in ever so slightly. I'm probably gonna push this in as well a little bit and pull that out a little bit as well. Okay, and then let's do a bevel. It's a bit large. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, I think. Bring that up. Control D it. Put this around here. Shrink that down. Pull it up. And rotate it a little bit more. Yeah. All right, so that's our megawatt speaker. So I'm just gonna grab, all, let's uh, grab this really quick and do a smooth on it. So let's do mesh, smooth. Heck is it, there we are. 
and we'll do apply close hit a one on it now that's ridiculous amounts of detail we should not have anything like this in our game so what I will do really fast is I'm going to go through here and find little pockets of detail that don't matter and just play a little bit of a game of cleanup really fast so see I mean look at all this in here no no reason for all that that can all go a lot of this detail is going to be able to go so maybe like every other one of these can go down here so yeah we're just slowly eating away at all this extra stuff now some of these are going to stick because they're part of this wing structure over here there's really not a whole lot i can do um, to get rid of any of that once again we could go in here and use this as a higher resolution version later on if we want to because there's there's definitely some stuff in here that that can go especially with these wings i mean look at this let's see if we can't mimic exactly the same selection down here There we go. That's better. All right. You know what? Still kind of high poly, but ultimately not too bad. Let's grab... Oh, you know what? That's a problem. See how it's going into that piece now? So what I'm going to do is just grab... Let's grab these three pieces here. Push them down. And then just push these in. Just kind of remap the detail a little bit. There we go. Still a lot of polys. What are we dealing with here? Yeah, 5,000 tries. That's that's ridiculous for this. Um, can I get rid of you? Yes, I believe so. You are not terribly important. I don't think I need you either. So now we're down under four, we're 4,700. So that's, that's a lot better. I'm tempted these ones here. I don't think are doing a whole lot. This piece here, see this? But I think that's going to be, let's, let's do this. What are we down to now? 4752, 4288. Much better. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. So now we've got our speaker. Let's grab all these elements. I'm just going to combine them really fast. Let's do some naming really fast. So we'll do uh, left megawatt speaker. Edit, delete by type history. Let's do... Um, present column and we should add it delete all by type history really fast and then we've got all of these things so really I should lay out the UVs on these and then and then combine them but I'm gonna be bad here and since I'm just trying to get this stuff in the game as fast as possible let's just um, grab it all and combine it right now and let's actually, we might as well just combine that and just say, um, what is this again? Uh, ship piece sign. Ship piece sign. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and set up our pivot points in the pro. Oh, this is definitely not in the right spot. So let's go here, grab this WDV and snap that right there. Great. Now we can grab this whole thing, D and X, and snap that to the origin, which is where that's at. And let's just see if this megawatt speaker actually fits. So we got an extra one here. It does not. And some of the other ship pieces, I think, are larger. So we need to probably make this sign bigger. So let's see if we can't grab everything except for the column. Scale that up just a little bit. I almost feel like the column now needs a little help. So let's grab the column and let's fatten it up. Better. Okay. Now let's give the ship piece a uh, pivot point. WDV right there. 
X the Okay, and there we go. So now we have our ship piece and our column ready to go. So why don't we save this out? Uh, so let's do, let's see, scenes. We just call this ship piece. I'm just going to zero one, enter. And why don't we go ahead and, oh, look at all these extra groups we have. Do you see all this, all that nonsense we had? So let's go ahead and grab these two. And actually, I think I want to separate them out. Um, we're going to make these different. So we'll go to File, Game Exporter. And let's come over here. See Settings. This should all be fine. I don't think I need to do anything. We haven't done any unwrapping yet, but I'm going to wait on that for a moment. And let's do Choose Export Directory. We haven't made the Unity project yet, so let's do that as well. So come over here. What are we working with? Um, what version of Unity? 2018.3.1.f1. I know 2019 is already out, but you know what? There's no real reason to upgrade just yet, so let's do this. And that's fine. Okay, so you need a project's all good to go, so why don't we go ahead and make this actually happen? So choose the folder. Let's go up a little bit. Assets and new folder. Models. And we don't, nothing's terribly complicated, so we can just choose that. And all we need to call this is, um, so wait, do we have selection here? Export all. We want to do export selection, and we'll call this left megawatt speaker. Export. Okay, now let's grab this one, and we'll call this ship piece sign, and export. Great. Now, I didn't do it, but I might as well right-click really fast, assign new material, fong, because we're going to get to it eventually, and let's left megawatt speaker underscore M, and right-click, assign new material, fong, and ship piece sign underscore M, save. Okay, so then we come over here, just make sure it loaded just fine. Let's go over to our models. We got our left megawatt speaker. Let's load them in and make sure that they're the right size relative to everything else. So game object, um, 3D object cube, that's fine. And then let's do the ship piece sign. And that's fine too. Great. Directional light, let's just flip this around. Great, so that works just fine for what we have to do. Let's go ahead and nuke them. Uh, let's go ahead, we have scenes. Uh, actually, we don't really need to do anything, so why don't we come back over here, and the next thing we need to do on our list, so let's see, so we have the ship piece done. So can I add a check mark box on this? Can I change its color? There we go, so the ship piece is done. So next up we have the elevator. Let's do the elevator, that's an interesting one. Let's find Toe Jam and Earl Elevator. Here we go. So that's our elevator. That's our reference material. Let's see. It, it kind of thumps up and down, if I remember correctly, uh, as it's traveling. We're not going to deal with that, but it looks like it's just an arrow, a box with a, with a cylinder cut out on the top, and not much else. So we're going to keep it relatively the same. Uh, let's go ahead and do a new scene. And actually, we're not going to do a new scene. We're going to go back to the old scene, ship pieces, just because I like the layout. And we're going to go to File, Save As. And let's call this Elevator. Zero, 01. And let's go ahead and nuke. So the elevator itself, let's just build the elevator really fast right next to it. So I'm going to say it's going to have to be pretty big to fit Toe Jam and Earl. I'm going to make it a box. Now it's going to have to be... So that's, that's, this is way too big already. Um, so yeah, let's, let's undo what I just did. So we'll do something like that. And possibly, so that's, that's three feet, six feet. That's eight feet right there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And then we'll grab our cylinder, grow it out to there, pull it out some amount, rotate it 90 degrees, and let's pop this up here, 
pop this up here. And why don't we do this up here? Face mode, grab these faces here, bring this back to thar. Do delete all the underlings from our little surface here. Go in here and delete that as well. And now all we need to do is combine these two surfaces. So let's go ahead and do that. Right click and we need a, um, a multi-cut down the center here so that it combines properly. Let's just do a merge, merge verts, apply, close, F8. Now we just need the actual elevator, which should be easy. So if we just take these components here, make sure I didn't accidentally select oh, anything else and scale them in. And you know what, let's uh, fix that a little bit. There we are. And I think I want to move this down a little bit. That's good enough. And I'm just going to recess that a little bit so we actually have room for the arrow, which is going to bounce back and forth. There's also a light on the top, it looks like. A little tiny light right there, which we can add in just a minute. But let's get the doors. So I'm going to grab both of these, extrude them in, compensate for the fact that it's a mess. And that's there. Now, I forget the doors. I think they just move to the sides, which makes no sense, but it's fine. Um, we'll figure that one out, I'm sure. Let's uh, extrude this in a bit. Whoops, let's grab this here. And I'm gonna do another extrusion to the back, and then I'm gonna bring that in, because there has to be an inside to the elevator now. So that might actually just be fine. Um, Let's grab these two pieces here, move them down a little bit. So then there's this. And then all we need is the actual doors uh, in the front. Now, do we see the inside of the elevator in Toe Jam Mineral at all? Just black, pitch black. So this is the new one. So they made theirs a little bit more interesting looking. So why don't we make ours a little bit more interesting looking too? We'll widen it up this way, fatten it up going like that. Something like that. And then we'll stick our light on top of there. Of course, we're going to make that a lot smaller. We're also going to probably pop a sphere on top of this. Like that. Just get it close enough. Go in here now. Nuke the bottom half. That's still, that's a lot of verts, isn't it? Don't you think? We should probably come in here and, did I delete a component on this? Oh darn, all right, I did. All right, let's start, let's start this again. Bring this up to there. Let's make this instead of 20, make it like 12. Make the sphere. Uh, I don't know. Make this 12 as well. This doesn't need to be perfect. Do I have, I do have a point that I can work with, so good. So there's that. Shrink this down. Close enough. All we need to do is get it right close enough so that when I do the merge verts it matches up. So we got this. We can go in here. We can delete that part. We can go on this one. We can go down here. We can delete this part. And grab both of these, combine them, right click verts, grab all of them, and then merge verts, and then hit apply. Close, zoom in really fast, grab one of these verts and just wiggle it around. And it looks like everything's combined just fine. We can grab this, we can go to mesh display, we can do a soft hard edge. That should be fine enough. Now I do kind of want to make this a little bit more interesting, so let's add something going on down here at the bottom. We can grab this. I almost feel like I kind of want it not just at the bottom, but also. Ooh, I don't like you, ring tool. Go away. I don't want you. I want my multi cut tool. So 
but I almost feel like let's do this. Let's do you, 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 no, you. Oh, come now. I'm going to do a slight extrusion on these elements so I have something to work with. I'm just going to let it be like that. And let's put this at the top of this thing. So let's um, W, D, V snap to the bottom, up to the top, V over here, V there. Scale this down a little bit, a little bit large, and just insert it into the mesh. Now, I do kind of want to bring this to life a little bit more, maybe doing something here and here, and then grabbing this whole thing. Uh, you know, I don't want to do an extrusion everywhere. I don't want the bottoms to be extruded, just the sides. So let's do an extrusion on these elements and just pulling it out a little bit. Now we do have the back to deal with as well, so we might want to not do the same thing, but almost do the same thing, except those should not be selected, and pull this out as well. Okay, just something to give it some character. All right, let's do a mesh display, um, soft and hard vertex, and that's what we have. We also need the arrow, so let's go ahead and add that. So. In the new version, it's kind of like this weird crooked arrow. I'm not a huge fan of that. So why don't we... Oh, that's cool. Those are all the animations. You can see it. See how it, it flips. I actually think that's the sound effect, um, or my interpretation of the sound effect, if I remember right from when I was a kid. So what does it do? It scales down infinitely thin, and then down, and then it turns into a star. Okay. So anyway, doors. So the doors open up to the sides. I guess the easiest way to do that would be to make a cut here and a cut here and to extrude these outwards into each other and then get rid of them after the fact. Something like this. And then now that I've got that, try to grab all of it. <laughs> this is gonna be a crappy selection right now, I'm telling you. We're gonna grab this stuff here I want to try to grow selection. It's going to not like that. We're going to get all this extra stuff, but hopefully we can get rid of it. You know, I'm wondering if I just do this, and I unselect everything else. Let's see, if I grab you and you actually, and then we do a grow selection, that gets those. Now I can right click and do an extract face, hit apply, close. And now these should be separate from the actual doorway. And see, so do I have, I, I do have a center seam, so I can grab this face and bring it to that center. And I can grab this face and bring it to that center. Now, okay, both of these need to be modify center pivoted. Come on. There we go. That's better. And I'm thinking if we do the pivot down there and the pivot down there, if we do, oh, see, that's scaling wonkily. Uh, we do the pivot over here. We can kind of have the door work a little bit to our favor. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to sit the pivots over here, then the doors will kind of do this, I guess. Shink. Then you'll go in. And that'll be that. Let's modify center pivot on this, and then WD, and then X, snap that to the grid. It's not what I wanted, please. D, X, and down, and why is it way down there? D, X, there we go. And then this object needs to be combined with this object. So let's go ahead and grab that. And then all of these objects together are going to be grouped together. And let's do an edit, delete all by type history really fast. And I'm going to delete the other two ship pieces. They're not needed anymore. And so we've got uh, elevator. And then we've got poly surface one, which is, um, let's see, from this perspective, that is elevator door underscore right. 
and then elevator door underscore left, and then elevator body. Great. And let's, uh, so that's the elevator. Let's modify center the pivot on this thing. What I want to do is D and X. And I think right there is the perfect place for this. I'm going to put this over here now. Save that. So let's go ahead now and modify uh, transforms and not reset. We want to go to modify freeze transforms. I'm going to, let's see, let's do rotate and scale really fast. Pretty sure I'm also going to want to do translate. So let's do translate as well. And now everyone's zeroed out and they're all in the right place. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and grab all of these elements, right click, assign new material, fong, elevator, underscore M, save, file, game exporter, and elevator. And hit export. Great. All right, this video is getting on to 48 minutes. I'm going to stop it here and start again in the next video where we are going to tackle who knows what. I will see you all next time. So long and goodbye. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications about new videos I upload. And if you'd like to help even more, consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account. Links, as always, are in the description. See you next time. So long, goodbye.